Welcome back to Juice and Java. I'm joined now by Savannah Kemp, who is a co-director of the Vagina Monologues. Thanks so much for Hi, being here. Hi, thanks for having me. So you said you're part of an organization called SASI, which is putting on this show. So tell me what that is. Uh, SASI? Yeah. SASI is Students Advocating Sexual Safety and Empowerment, which is a really long, unwieldy acronym, but uh, we do a lot of uh, feminist work, sex positivity, body positivity, um, women's issues, things like that. So. so it makes sense that you would choose this show. I know this show has gone on uh, pretty much every year, right? Yeah, well, it's part of uh, V-Day, which is a huge project by Eve Ensler to raise money and awareness for women's issues. Uh, so that goes on every year, and every year she adds a couple monologues to the show and tweaks a little bit, trying to be as inclusive as possible. So it's, uh, it's this long, ongoing project. Okay. So now you're a co-director of the show, so right. what are some of your duties? Um, well, I'm actually, there's, I'm co-directing with Steph Cuevas um, and Sammy Lifson is our producer. So Sammy's in charge of all the administrative stuff because she's really great at that. And then Steph and I are doing the more dramatic uh, directing and working with people one-on-one -on -one and sort of helping them get their performances out. Because a lot of people who are in the show have never done acting before, have never been in a performance before. They just care about these issues and want to get involved. So. We want everyone to be able to be involved. Right. Now, is it just students who are in the cast, or is there faculty, outside people? Well, actually, um, this year we're doing our first faculty, all faculty and cast, uh, faculty and staff show. Um, that's going to be a matinee on the Saturday performances. But we've had faculty and staff in the show pretty much every year up to this point, but we've never had them in their own exclusive cast. It's kind of nice because it gives us a chance to work with our schedules and you know, they're adults and have lives outside of the world and they want to go home to their kids. So we get to work with them and, and make it Right, better. that's great. So that's obviously something different from the past years in mm -hmm. addition to some other things. Is there anything else different from the show in the past? Yeah, actually we're trying to, in this ongoing project, to be as inclusive as possible. We've actually got um, uh, sign language interpreters. It's been sort of a struggle process, but uh, we have them for the Saturday night show. They're really expensive, um, <laughs> but we, we have them for one night and next year we'll have them for every night because we'll budget in advance. Um, but we also are doing a counseling support staff for people who might be triggered by the monologues because some of them have um, have themes of you know, sexual abuse and violence and we want to be able to make sure that people who are survivors of abuse or rape are have some kind of support. So we have staff from the, it's the counseling center through the SU Rape Center and they're going to be on hand at the show to talk to people if they want. So. That's really great. Yeah. So obviously it's kind of very a deep project on some levels. What's your favorite part about being involved with this? I just, I really love it because it covers so many different women's stories and you get, you get moments where people are laughing so hard that they're crying and the next part they're crying because they're crying. Um, and you just get to reach out and touch so many different people and bring issues to light that people never thought about. And I, I love it when I get to talk to guys after they've come to the show and they say, oh, I never... I never knew about this, or I never thought about that. And, and then they're like, well, tell me about your period. And I'm like, I don't know if we're quite there yet, but it's great. It's funny. So now, when is it playing? When can we go see it? Okay, it's next week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, the Thursday show's on ESF campus, and the Saturday, the other shows are all in Hendrix, and there's a matinee Saturday also in Hendrix. And then if you want to get tickets, is there a special way to do that? Yes, Shine Box Office, they're on sale right now. Go buy all of them. <laughs> okay, and then if students want to get involved next year, because I know the show will probably go on next year too, right. what should they do? We do auditions in the fall around November, and we make the, the casting over Thanksgiving usually. So look for the posters. We try to advertise everywhere, but yeah. Okay, great. Thanks so much for Thanks being Thanks for on. having me. Yeah, we're really excited. If you want to go see the vagina monologues, make sure that you do that. Coming up next on Juice and Java, Jared is going to be back. He's going to talk to the SU Freestyle Ski and Snowboarding Club. But first, if you know, if you're skiing, it's usually a good idea to wear a hat. So for Street Style this week, we went out and took a look at some of the different hats on campus. So let's take a look at that.